Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Knee Slap and K-Pop podcast. And to continue our fun podcast anniversary month today, I, Sammy, and Kayla... Hello. ...are going to tier rank our first year of episodes. Yay! Yay! This is an episode for only us. <laughs> this us is an alone. episode no one will care this about. This is an episode no one out there asked for or wants, but we're doing it because we thought it would be fun. <laughs> and also, we're working on a bunch of bigger episodes, and so we needed something yeah. quick and easy right now. A lot of a lot of the um, the podcast anniversary like special episodes are like a lot of things that take like very little effort to prepare, but are like very fun as like a whole yes. concept. So. Yes. So we're excited for this. Mm-hmm. So we have decided that the official, anytime we tier rank anything, we're just going to use the same tiers as we did when we tier ranked 150 boy groups. Yes, because I why... think they're, they're just so good. The names are so good that, I mean, like, why would we not just use yes. them? Yes, so for background, um, these are all fun English lyrics from K-pop boy groups. Mm-hmm. So for our S tier, we have Cup of Milk, Let's Rock and Roll, because mm-hmm. of course... Of course. Uh, our A tier is lyric. Walkin' with the Cheese, That's the Queso. Mm-hmm. Then B tier is Zoom Zoom My Heart Like a Rocket. C tier is Ice Cream, No Flake, Lemon Drizzle. D tier is Dinner's Ready Yet. And F tier is Close Your Lips, Shut Your Tongue. And I think those are just, like, some very just iconic English iconic. boy group lyrics. Yes. That fit the tiers that they are. They do. They do. So, um, these are our, probably our first year, our first full year of episodes with some, yes. with some of the highlight bonus videos. Yeah, so we, we've picked a few of our bonus videos that they're, number one, like our best performing clip videos and also just our favorite ones of them, generally. I mean, let's be honest, our clip videos do better than our episodes. Every single clip video does better than our actual episodes, and I think that's just kind of like how the internet just yeah. like consumes content oh yes and also we've condensed a few things together like we've condensed all of produce month into one entry instead of yes five five i think it's five i think seven. It's, si- it's seven no, episodes it's seven yeah no we, we, we figured yeah. out we somehow did seven episodes on the produce series and all of um the road to kingdom coverage the kingdom legendary war coverage and the island coverage are all together Condense. because i can't tell you the difference between recapping road to kingdom episodes two to three versus like four to six through like whatever like i don't i, I don't, don't care know. so we're just know. talking about as a collective so, so we will be doing this in semi chronological order see i tried to make it so this got ordered in chronological order and then it did not at all so, so these are just... in very random order <laughs> uh so uh let's just start with our first episode yes Quarter one song 2020 reviews. quarter one songs. Um, uh-huh. if I'm being honest, it's this a bad episode, episode was it's a horrible episode. Horrible. We d- had no idea what we were doing. I think this this episode I've been recorded for you and I had mics. It was. Oh my god, that was. Yeah, it was because this was recorded on my phone. Um, yes. Yeah, and it was before we figured out how to use Audacity, and I think Lucas was OBSing it from a Discord call, and that's how our like first that, and then the first couple of Road to Kingdom. I think like the first um, preview two coverages Road to were like were that. I think it was maybe episode one, and then all three of the preview episodes were that. Yeah, and all of the episodes that we never put out and don't see the light of day. There are three, we I think, three episodes that we recorded that are never seeing the light of day. We need and to remake we, those. We haven't even remade them. And we've one been of them talking is a, about it. One of them is a two-part most influential K-pop boy groups episode that is horrible never seeing the light of day. No. Um the other two are Road to Kingdom preview group episodes that we had that we did remake into the actual Road we to Kingdom. We did remake previews. them, but ev- it was all five of us were there for it and also I don't think Lucas knew what to do with how to like process Edit. whatever we had recorded so we just like threw those I away think it's lost i don't even think because i know we have the influential group audio we did for a while i have it i yeah, still have, have that it. episode just like but around. i don't i think those kingdom previews are just lost into the ether. the kingdom previews are lost they're also just gone. this was the also another one of these ones that we initially recorded is we recorded a fashion episode we did 
And that was the first iteration of that. And then there are another two iterations of the fashion episode that are not seeing the light of day. I mean, that first one, I think, is garbage. The first one was bad. The second one, I don't even know what happened to it. The second one was Luca's birthday, and the third one was the one we recorded on 4th of July. On 4th of July. With the fireworks in the background constantly. (laughs) Yes. We kept redoing that episode, and it's still not seeing the light of day. No. But in terms of this episode, it's... It's bad. It's, it's a bad. first podcast episode, but like that was when we were absolutely garbage at podcasting. Yeah, so. we had no idea what we were saying. We rambled ridiculously. Mm-hmm. I also genuinely hate our quarter episodes only because I have terrible memories of being like they're everyone such a hates. Headache. They're horrible. Oh my god, they we take hate. so they take. You so wonder long. why this year we've decided we were gonna do a modified version of the quarter ranking of the quarter then, where we just yeah. rank them. And then we realize we don't want to. No, and I'm just like I don't even want to do that. Like I just don't want to record them anymore. And so so now we like just, we now just we do, do uh, best and worsts. Yeah. Hopefully that will be out. And you get it, you get best, a best, in, it should be out. You get a best and worst in a clip video, and that's what you're getting from quarter song review, because we just can't do that anymore. It's yep. like, I'm no tired. One, I can't. No one enjoys it. You've, <laughs> like it's you've not seen fun. that as time went on, we talk less and less about actual K-pop and more just about fun topics. I, I know. Think- I f- so we're turning, our podcast, I think, is generally turned into, we cover K-drama, Asian dramas, we cover like Produce. survival shows and we cover like fun k-pop like adjacent game shows yes. is what we do now it's fun i enjoy it is them. very fun i enjoy that because it's like there's not a lot of podcasts out there like k-pop coverage who are doing that no i mean most people are just doing either k-dramas or they're doing like um just straight up music reviews and even k-dramas don't like usually it's either k-drama news which i find boring you can go somewhere else for that or mm-hmm. it's like reviewing popular shows and I don't watch any of the popular shows when they No, air. and it's just recap. Like, no one's out here doing, like, um, top worst five Asian dramas we'll you've ever We'll get seen. there. We'll get there. But if I think this first episode, I think we gotta put it in the F tier, because I think it's genuinely it's bad. not It's good. very, it's a very bad episode. I it's totally It's our first episode. We got so <laughs> much, I don't think we have an episode as bad as that one. No, it's, it's bad. All right. I mean, I might change my mind on that later, but as we'll of now, figure it's it out. Horrible. Yeah. All right. So then we go to one of our. I don't even think that's the first first contact. It's not the first first contact. Was this one the twice one? All right. So let's do. Let's start with the first contact. Let, actually, let me put all the first contacts like together. All right. We'll um, do the so first. We talk about them as a whole. NCT, and we did first contact. We have one us one we somewhere. The one us here. one we is right second row, first in the row. second row. Here it is. Here it is. Those are our first contacts. Oh, and there's Vix as well. Oh, yeah, Vix is somewhere. Halloween, Vix, yeah. there. All right. There it is. So we can just do a mini, like, let's rank our first contacts. Yeah. So the twice one is only Dan and Maria. So I I, I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what to I do saw with bits it. of it, and it's pretty good. I think it's very short. It's our shortest episode for sure. It's like, I think maybe 35 minutes. Yes, it's very short. They don't do that much in depth on twice mainly Which because weird, dan has never Dan's, watched his, their show dan is like the biggest twice dan and like can barely talk about twice apparently <laughs> yeah no we talk about nct for how long and we don't we're not the the no, biggest I, nct stands right i think that's good i like it it's, it's fine, fine. Can we, I let's think it's a it, middle of the road episode let's i think go, it's like do we, that's zoom, the, zoom ice cream that's that's my birthday episode Oh, that's the wrong one. That's unique. This one. I think that's let's put it let's put an ice cream tier. Ice cream. Okay. Yeah. ATs I think is better. ATs is better. ATs is before we had like more like practice doing that format. Yeah. And it was still the actual format that the show was meant to be in. So. Yeah. Unlike the rest of these, which are Where just us in, adapting we commandeer the format. Dan's format of a show and just like we're gonna do what we want with it now. Look, we don't know what this format this format has had like two correct episode so now we're just gonna do it wrong yes i think i still don't love it as much as a lot of other episodes i don't love it i think it's it's better than twice but it's so like, i want to yeah i think it's better than twice but i think it's still ice there. cream tier yeah lucy is lucy was lucy looking back at that episode what did we why did we decide to do it as a first contact it's so funny because at that time lucy had literally flowering and that was all we flowering had flowering and, and we the made other, a whole episode on it 
It shouldn't have been a first contact. No, because it, it was literally have. the first contact, the only but we, contact. All of us fell in love with Lucy so fast and like so hard that it was just like, well, we need to do it because no one else here is going to talk about Lucy, so we need to. No talk one about in Lucy. the K-pop community was talking about Lucy, Thus, and we needed to tell people about Lucy. Thus, so. we had to spread the word. Mm-hmm. Thus. I think it's Zoom Zoom. I still think, I think that the, the format is the problem. The format is... Because we're still trying to be in the first contact format. Right. But it's not working. Mm-hmm. All right. NCT is probably my favorite iteration of first contact. Oh, I love it so much. I it's love great. it. It's great. Um, also, because we have that really great NCT Venn diagram, which I that think we is made. great. And I think it works, it weirdly works for a first contact just because there's so much to, like, dive into with NCT about how they are as a group and their format and everything and all the units. Yeah, how stupid that concept is. And so, and yeah, I think so. I think it made for more fun episode, honestly. Yeah. Just with the format of NCT. Honestly, it's a very good episode. I really like it. I think that we go off and we're just genuinely confused, but... But we, like, we all enjoy NCT a lot. No, um, it's not that so we're not fans fun. of NCT. It's just, it's just, the just... For, their, their format as a group is just very, it's very stupid. It's a choice. Like, it was a choice yeah. that SM made. And not saying it was a good one. So mm-hmm. I think, I genuinely think it's, I like it more than I think I like our Lucy first contact. I like it better than Lucy, yeah. Let's go queso tier. I think it needs queso. to be with the NCT. I think it's appropriate if we put it, it is, in a queso It is. That is appropriate tier. that it's in queso tier. That's very appropriate. So next is our first contact of one us and one we together. And this was very funny because I remember I came into a voice call that you and Dan were on on like a Sunday and you were planning a first contact for only one us. And then you were like, well, let's just throw one we in there as well. I have Because it makes sense. <laughs> I have to. Because I, I knew I could not get anyone else to just do a first contact only of On, one and we. Only one we. So you need them together. So, like, I was like, this is my shot. I'm going to shoot my shot right here and see if I can get them to go for it. Oh, yeah. Let's do both. They are literal twins. And it makes sense, because I feel like One Us and One We by themselves probably didn't have enough content to do, like, a full standalone episode on each of them. So, like, putting them together, I think, was very a good idea. It did give us more material than we had for Lucy. Oh, yes. We did have a way more material than Lucy. And but that was not the difficult. Fact that I think we ended up giving One We, because One We has such a longer history. Oh, they have One such a does. long history. They have such a longer history than One Us does. So I think we ended up, it ended up being more of a One We episode than a One Us episode. Because it was also yeah. the fact that this was still when Dan was very confused as to why One We is my favorite band. Which they yeah. are. Greatly underappreciated people. Mm-hmm. But also it was very funny. It was very fun. I think that's also queso tier. Because I, I like love that one. episode. Yeah, I th- it's worse than NCT, but it's a queso tier. Yeah. So, Vix. 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 This was... is very interesting because this is the most popular episode of First Contact for By some reason. Far. I can't understand why. Because also we went into this with zero plan. We went no. There was no plan for the Vix First Contact at all. I also find no that plan. You'll, you'll you'll hear a lot of say we went into this episode with zero plan. Mm-hmm. Um, this we went into with actually no plan, just sort of a, a feeling. A feeling. I like it. I, don't I like, like it. I like I, it. I don't understand why it's the most popular one at all. It's a Halloween special because because Vix makes sense. Makes sense. I I don't think I like it as much as the NCT One Us One We episodes, mainly no, because those are fun and weird. I kind of want to put it Zoom Zoom tier. Yeah, I think I could put it above Lucy, but Zoom Zoom. Yeah, I'll let you start on this one. So here I'm gonna we're gonna do Island with Kingdom and Road to Kingdom together because that's So seems let's do to make Road sense. to Kingdom because we started Road to Kingdom at the end of the first row. I put the anti island episode up there with it as well. And then grab the <laughs> grab the kingdom episodes. Where's, where is that at? There's the ranking kingdom groups right underneath. No, but I should have there should have been a it's separate right, one. No, just it's next for to kingdom. it. It was next to where that was. Oh, okay. Here we go. Alright. So. So Road to Kingdom was our first series. So Road to Kingdom's the reason we started this podcast, yes, generally. Yes, because someone needed to talk about this. Mm-hmm. I mean, do we tell them why we what, what inspired that? <laughs> do we, actually? I mean, I think that they know. They know. Well, yes, they do know. So, so there's another podcast. Yes. Called um, Truly Daybuck, and 
their Discord server is where all of us met for the first time, and yep. it's why we're friends and why we have this podcast, essentially. essentially. And they did Queendom recaps. Mm-hmm. And then we were sort of in this conversation of, are you going to do Kingdom recaps, da 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 and we're, they're like, no. And we're like, well, like they don't care. we need the boy group representation. Well, I want Road to Kingdom recaps. I want Road to Kingdom recaps, and thus, if I have to make them myself, I will. And now here and, we are a year and later. And now how we, we are with our K-pop podcast a year later. Yep. Covering Kingdom Legendary War currently. Co- still covering Kingdom on our third Mnet sh- survival show. Yep. 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 Well, well, more than third because we went back to oh, old I, Mnet survival shows. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I like our Road to Kingdom coverage. I think it is- I do. Of the three that we covered, of, of Road to Kingdom, Island, and Legendary War- yeah. I think it probably the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> because I think we were also, at, at some point, I do think we were also, like, we didn't really know how brutal, like, we're now brutally honest. I think we were holding back a lot on that, ep- on those episodes. Probably. Not that we were, like, not saying our real opinions, but I mm. don't think we were saying the 100% truth. <laughs> no. Probably We were not. being a little bit nicer. And because it, it, it was really the first series that we did as a podcast, it was also, like, we were very much still in the learning to podcast phase, so. Yeah. I want to give it CT, because I do still like it. I think that there are some gems. I think you get some fun yeah. bloopers out of it. Oh, yes. We, we went the, off on the weirdest tangents. We get we got a lot of tangents with we that. We got Resident 2 Expert out of it. We did get Resident 2 Expert out of it. That is good. That was a good thing that came out of it. Which I think is why I want to put it overall in C tier. Because yeah. mostly it was a little bit boring. It was a little boring. But I think it's... I'll put it there. In C tier. And here we go with Island. <laughs> A show so interesting that an an island, an anti-island episode. Anti-island episode. Was created to spite it. (laughs) Just purely out of spite of islands. Look. And I'm gonna, we're just gonna put out there, it's really Dan. It was all Dan's fault. It's not me, everybody. (laughs) It's not Dan. It wasn't me. It was really, it was really I was caught in the crossfire somehow. You were caught babysitting him for like two months while the rest of us were just like, I can't speak to Dan at all because all he wants to talk about Which is Island and I just can't. Which also meant you couldn't speak to me for some reason. How dare. Yes. We would have to, like, be in the voice chat and then, like, Dan would come in and start yelling about Island and then me and Lucas would just move to a different voice chat. And you chat. wouldn't let me just, also like, I leave. can't. <laughs> I you can't You also would not it. let me leave. Like, I Please, also someone, wanted someone to have to, other conversations. Someone had to talk to him about it. <laughs> And unfortunately, you were the only other person watching the show, so. Uh, all right, so. I genuinely enjoyed the show. The show was weird. The show was a choice. There was a lot happening. I was, mm-hmm. a lot of yelling happened. I was yelled at a lot by Dan <laughs> while we were by watching Dan a it. lot. In yep. the way that, like, I watched the finale with Dan. Yeah. A lot of yelling. I um, remember that, because it aired at, like, 7 in the morning or something. We like were awake. <laughs> And so was, yeah. it was us and Cooper. I know, and then Dan took, like, straight up took a day off of work for it so he could watch the finale live. It was a lot. Mm-hmm. But generally, I am, I was content. I like it more than our kingdom, our Road to Kingdom recap because we sort of had an idea. We had flashcards. Well, oh, by yeah, we, you had I mean, whole, Dan had Dan, flashcards. Dan made flashcards. And also, um, Road to Kingdom gave us nothing. No one won from that show. No and one won. And we got an, uh, an, an hypen out of Island. So I think we, get we won hypen more. And, and hypen is good. And hypen is good. So I think it's B. I'd put it a little bit yeah. above Road to Kingdom. I would put it above Road to Kingdom. I wouldn't put it in B, though. Like, I want to put, put it, it like, here. Yeah. Yeah, like, top of C. Um... I honestly can't even tell you what we talked about in the Anti-Island episode. The Anti-Island episode Which is, is the case. Sp- is the K-pop anime episode, essentially, Also, because- I remember being, like, because I was supposed to be on that episode, and I remember yeah. listening to it, and I'm like, you forgot half of them. We did. You forgot so many of the openings, where I'm like, you, did you guys just not want to talk lot about of, this? And they're like, a no, lot we of them, forgot. A lot of them we didn't care about, and a lot of the newer ones we just forgot about, and I honestly, like, like can't recall really anything we talked about in that episode, and I don't understand. I don't. I couldn't tell you why it's like an hour long because I don't know what we talked about for that. Uh, long. There was a lot of circling. 
Yeah, probably. Because, like, me and Dan, all the island episodes are super... Uh, the island episodes at one point were our longest episode. I think they a are. quarter rank is above it now. One but of the quarter I think, ranks. I think quarter it. three is the longest episode yes. we have. Yes, and that makes sense because it's five of us. At one point, and it was me three, and Dan by ourselves talking yeah. about island for three hours. Quarter but three like, is we, close to three hours long, and I think that's our longest one, yeah. But, like, me and Dan were always on topic on island. Mm-hmm. We were on that topic. Anti Island, I have no idea what you guys were talking it was about. It like, wasn't off tangents. It was an offshoot episode we put together in about like two days and was just like, let's just record it and then put it out and it'll be funny. And then like I honestly don't remember anything we talked about in it. And then we roped in Maria the last second is like, hey Maria, wanna be an anti island episode? That's fun. Mm-hmm. So I think that it's like It's not good. It's not a good episode. If you want to put it in the only D tier. Let's put it, yeah, I'll put it in D tier for now. All right. Kingdom Legend. Oh, can we do the ranking kingdom group first? Because <laughs> that came out first. It did come out first. So, um, we did the kingdom preview. We did do the kingdom. That, and now when we say we, no, when, when, when we, we say, say that we know no preparation was made. When I tell you that the script for that episode was literally me and Kayla being like, oh, we should do a preview episode because we did one for Road to Kingdom. Okay, mm-hmm. shall we write the script? Sure. We listed the groups in order of debut. No, we started with the no, boys because they were on the yeah, last season. We just had a list of the groups in the order we were going to talk about them, and that was it. And then that we're was like, the you want to do it? The whole script. Sure. And we just And then went. we did it. And then we just talked. And, and that's our, like, so most, well. it's almost our most viewed episode, right? It's, it's so our second different. most viewed episode right now. <laughs> yep. So, honestly, I, lo- I think that's some S-tier quality work right there. That is. And then, the reason we made the ranking the Kingdom Groups video is straight up because we kept getting recommended that same video just made by other people, and we're like, this sucks, let's make it better. And let's so make it our version. It. Yeah. yeah, let's make our version. And I think that's an S-tier video an S tier video. It's, it's so good. The engagement my... on that video is off the charts. <laughs> I love it. Genuinely, I love all it's the so engagement good. we got. I love it's great. that everybody hated it. Mm-hmm. Everybody loathed our opinions. It's and... at like 78 dislikes right now. There's like 60 comments on it, which is way more than any other video on our channel has. It's which amazing. Is, I mean, it's really bringing in the views oh, to the channel. It's great. Mm-hmm. I love it. Because genuinely, like, we're not saying any of these groups are terrible. It's just when you have a group of one to six, someone's got to be sixth. Someone has to be sixth. And that doesn't mean they're bad. They're just, like, not the as good, good as the, of other, the other, other six of the six there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then Kingdom Legendary War, I'm... We're still in the middle of it. We're in the middle of it. I'm enjoying it a lot. I am enjoying it. Mainly because I think that they've upped- the quality of the show is better. Mm Mm-hmm. Because also I feel like these groups have a lot less to lose. Yes. In that, like, the kingdom groups- the Road to Kingdom groups had nothing to lose. These groups really have nothing to lose. And they also have nothing to gain. No. Because the prize on this show is garbage. Oh, yeah. But the production value through the roof, so high- I like it better because there's no elimination, so we're not stressing about that. And I do think that we're getting, like, better content in, like, the bullshit, like, preparation for the performances segments. I think we're getting, like, actually, like, really fun content from that now. So there's a reason for me to want to watch the episodes. Unlike, like, Road to Kingdom, where I think I them having the seven groups on it was a weird, like, timing thing for them because those segments were shorter and also, like, far more useless as well. Yes, so. and also the fact that we stopped watching the episodes halfway through the show. After Golden Child got eliminated, I stopped watching the actual episodes. I think so, I like, might I have stopped I don't before care you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I think our Kingdom Legendary War coverage is, like, at least, like, B, B tier. Yeah. It's pretty, it's, I like it so far. I still don't like good. these shows. Yeah. Because I think Mnet sucks. What am I doing here? Mnet does suck. I was just having a conversation today about every single person who watches Mnet shows is, like, hate watching the show. No one is watching the show and, like, actively going in there to have, like, a good time on the show. Like, everyone's there because it's gonna be a hot mess and you're gonna hate it, but, like, will that's you part keep of coming back? Yes, I've of, done- Yes, we will keep coming back. I have back. done three of these shows. I'm the mm-hmm. only person that did all three of those shows. Yeah. Only person. Yep. 
So then we have quarter two. Quarter two. Quarter, I don't. I'm trying to remember what songs were in quarter two. Quarter two was like, let me. Check. Quarter two was the Dan throwing TXT in the garbage, right? It was Dan throwing TXT in the. So that was a fun moment. Yeah, that was a highlight right there. And it's me, Itzy was in quarter. Was Itzy in quarter three? Let me check something. Let me let me go into. Give me a because second. I have a hard time differentiating quarter two from quarter three. It yep. also had um, nonstop. It had. It had I Woods. Think Woods was it in had quarter Lucy. two. Yeah. It had yeah. It had fun songs. It had mm-hmm. oh, it had God's menu. Oh God! Because that, that's what because that's what Dan threw TXT in the garbage for was God's menu. Yep. 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 So honestly, I think it had some iconic moments. I think it's better than our quarter it's one. Pretty good. Obviously, it's better than obviously it's not in like F tier of our K-pop episodes. Yeah. No, but I liked it a lot. You had it's one of my favorite of the of the quarter ranks. Mm-hmm. It is. It's so, fun. So I think it's got to be at least like. For the highlights, for as much as it's so hard to record those, because I hate them, I think it's, like, C tier. Yeah. C or B tier. I put it in... Let's put it, like... Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Then Mm -hmm. we have quarter three. Quarter three. So the highlights of quarter three was that we had... Was that... That was Itzy in quarter three, That was Itzy. That was also The Purge. Oh, The Purge. And that was also da, 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 that was also Justin. Oh, first Justin! Appear, ju- first appearance, first appearance of Justin. for Justin. Yes, we love Justin. Mm-hmm. And also, favorite boys is on here. Okay, so that was good. It was a good. I I have a lot of fun outtakes from quarter three. I think is the it most does. Fun I think thing just that I us talking of. about Itzy mm-hmm. was great. <laughs> The Etsy conversation was great. That's where also I have the overnight oats outtake is in there. Yes, yes. yes I yes. have the um us me you and Maria just start spoiling midsummer for some reason. Oh yeah. We have like a really big discussion of like when we talked about one us because we somehow believed it was in quarter two when it was in quarter one or something and there's yes. like a whole section about that and there, there was a whole conspiracy of like did we when did we when did one us do anything we had to go like fact checked it and i was just like yeah what are we doing and none of those none of that's in the actual episode but they're in outtakes part two and it is so the, our memories fun. it is our memories yes. of what we did also but i will say it, I did like it more than quarter two because quarter two it was also when we were extremely warm because we were oh, quarter, yeah. quarter two. Oh my I think god! Because it's the middle of quarter two yes. down. Yes, we all wanted oh, to my god. die because we recorded in the middle of summer and everyone has to turn off their air conditioning when we record because it's too loud essentially. So yeah, because we're all it's, like that in was our a bad time. And, like, I was burning. hot and dying the whole time. So yeah. I think I think we put quarter two in C tier in ice cream tier. Because we all wanted some ice cream. Uh, yeah, so we moved this up. It was so hot. Up here, yeah. And then quarter three is an above in B tier. Yeah. So do you want to just do quarter four while quarter we're doing four. this? Yeah, sure. Where did I, where's quarter four at? Uh, I might have forgotten it. Uh, up. Up next up. to the worst. Worst. Oh, no, that's an award show. Never mind. That's, I did, uh, maybe All I the way at the quarter. end. There it is. All the way at the end? That one. Oh, yeah, here it is. Quarter four. Quarter four was the last one, so the highlights of quarter four are like we have J O one, J O one and Orbit both made it. And yeah. Orbit. Um, we also had the lovely discussion of also N hyphen. Mm-hmm. We went off on a very long tangent on AB six. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we that did. Episode. Also, I don't think this is correct. Oh no, that's wrong. Because we ended up, we didn't do the claims anymore. That we did quarter no, four quarter as four best was, and worst. Was quarter four was when we were attempting new quarter format for like the episodes, and then we decided we just weren't going to do them anymore. Yep, yep. That's when we. That was officially. We yeah. had the fun Stacy discussion. Oh, the Stacy discussion. Uh, and then we also talked about bad songs. Yeah, we did. So I think that that's. I think that might be one of the better quarter. It is because it's very streamlined, and it's. I didn't want to die while I was recording it either. No, we so. were exhausted. We had already done the 
but what's it called? The award show. The award show. We wanted to die. We didn't want to mm-hmm. do this format anymore. We tried a new format, which was better, yeah. but we don't. We don't want to do better, it but anymore. we still. Ju- I th- so I'm gonna put it right below quarter three. Yes. Yeah. I think quarter three is still probably our best one in terms of quality. Mm-hmm. But I can't do that format anymore. I'm exhausted. Can't. So then. Abs- so I have everyone's birthday episode here, except for Lucas, whose birthday episode is coming and is not out yet. We did record an old- that, one of the fashion episodes that we threw away was Lucas's was birthday episode. Was that Lucas's birthday episode? Because originally Lucas was going to have the first birthday episode. Yeah, then and it then it got delayed, to, it, and then it was July, and then it was like, well, now it's not your birthday anymore. Nope, so it's just going to be my birthday episode, guys. Yeah. Uh, so my birthday episode was the complete history of Unique because I share my birthday with the boys. Mm-hmm. And I liked it. I think that was I our like first it. deep this dive is, into anything. This is also, it did really well on our podcasting um, sites. I think, I, I, we'll get to it with a different episode, but I think that there's one main reason for that. Yes. Also, I will say that something really bizarre happened to the last, like, 20 minutes of the audio. Which is where so we it, talk about the two best- So it, like, it renders, best. like, the last 20 minutes of the episode, like, completely useless. Because the audio gets to... really out of sync, and I don't know what happened to it. I think we need to redo that episode, just because I hate the, the audio problems on it. It's I know, a really the audio just episode. ruined- I know, and it's, like, the last 20 minutes of audio just got- I don't know what happened to it when it rendered. It got, like, real fucked so up. So I think we gotta put it yeah. low, because of the audio problem. Because of the audio problem. Um. I'll put it in the bottom of C. Yeah. Yeah. Dan's birthday episode. Um, I enjoyed Dan's I birthday liked episode. It. it was weird, I, I but wasn't it was in fun. it and I listened to it. It's not nothing to do with K-pop, but I I thought it was really fun. Yeah. I want to put it in like B tier because they had a lot of yeah. fun. It was they, very odd. This just reminds me of how I like really just want to start like our offshoot podcast now. Where we've we just considered talk about nothing. We've, we've just we again. We're not doing the gaming channel anymore. We did consider doing. We a did consider a gaming, gaming channel. channel, and we're just well, like. And then I realized I would have to edit the gaming videos, and I'm like, absolutely not. And also, I would have to start editing the podcast episodes because yeah. it would just end up coming down the line of people that edit. Um, yeah, coming down the line of editors. Yeah, which then means who the fuck makes the bonus videos? Because I make half of them. Oh yeah, and then Dan. I think it's Dan and makes Dan the bonus makes videos. The bonus videos. <laughs> But I don't know if I want Dan making all of our bonus videos. I don't, videos. because Dan takes, like, four weeks to make one bonus video, and I take, like, two days. I know, I can, like, do it in a day, yeah. yeah. I made that quarter, we we decided the songs for that quarter one video, and I made it mm-hmm. the next day. It was dumb. Oh, I did, I did the Ranking the Kingdom Groups episode in, like, a day. Like Exactly. We like, just, we, once we, we had the out. idea, I'm like, I just, we need it out. Like, it's like, if we know the content... That needs to be timely. Like, it just gets done real we fast. We make things so. timely. Yes. Um, so I, I liked it a lot. Um, mm-hmm. then we have Maria's birthday episode. Which was so Teji and the boys retro mixtape, which was fun. It was very I had fun. a lot of fun with that, yeah. yeah. But also, it was just also, I I enjoyed it because I got shit on YG for a while. I know, that was fun, just like yelling the at man YG. At, the man of YG, not so much the yeah, company. Yeah, specifically the man YG, because he, he sucks. He's horrible. He's terrible. Um, I'll put it up here with Dan. And then mine was just the Woolum Entertainment ep- episode, because of course... That because is what of my course. birthday episode was. Again, if I had to do the unique episode, you have to do the Woolum episode. It's fine. I know. It's like, that's just what it had to be for my first birthday episode, so. Again, my second birthday episode is going to be very fun to just give a preview. Oh, yes. We it figured is, it it's, out. We're, we're, in the same, we're in the same realm of topic for the second Sammy birthday episode. <laughs> it's going to so. be very fun. Yes. Um, I think your birthday episode is quite, I think we just put all the birthday episodes in B. Together, Yeah. Except mine, because mine has weird audio. Because mine, I, will, I don't know. We, we will I don't know. one day. I don't know what happened to it, is the thing, is I think what happened was when I was putting in the videos, um, on top of, like, for the pot, for the YouTube video. Something out, something I think the out o- I think the audio for the video overlaid on top of somebody's audio, and it just got rid of someone's audio, and that's why the rest of it sounds out of sync. Possibly. But it's not in, but I've, like, looked at that video, well, I, I also just can't access, um the file for that anymore because I edited it on my laptop and mm-hmm. I don't have the audio anyone's audio for it anymore and I also don't use my laptop anymore so 
it's gone <laughs> for the ether forever. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't even. I can't even figure out how I would even fix that. Yeah, I think that that's of of all the episodes. I think the only one I would want to remake. Yeah. Is that one because it's a good episode and I like it and it I like really all the good. information on it. Yeah. But I think that it's... It's un- We have it's an, an unfortunate, unfortunate technical mishap, yeah. Exactly. So I think that that's the only one I want to... And I also kind of want to remake it now that we actually kind of know more of what we're doing. Yes, that's true. Because that was also relatively early into our life as a podcast. Yeah, so. and I think Unique deserves better. They do. They our do boy deserve deserves better. better. They do. All right. Um, so here's 2020 K-pop boy group debuts parts one and two. So part one was. Um, part one is MC two, and D. Two, MC and D. Bay DKB. One, no, DKB. Sorry. Cravity. Cravity. Lucy. And um, two more. God. Who is early in the year? Hold on. Oh, it was H and D was one of them. H and D and one more. Who? Oh, Elast. That's who it was. Elast. Okay, yeah. So that's who that... And honestly, I like it. I do. It's fine. It's not as good as the second one, because the second one had more fun. We had so much mm-hmm. more fun with it. I had a lot more fun with the second one. I think it's very straightforward, and I do like the fact that we were very, like, up and down with certain groups. And that's just how these, the 2020 K-pop boy group debuts went. It was very up and down, like, I mean, we forever. are going to do an update to it, where we, we catch will. up with them in current we times. We catch up with them, yes. Uh, mainly because the 2021 groups are giving us, like, nothing to work with. I got absolutely no hope for, like, any of them, which is sad. But this is where we're at with the so, 2021 I think that, Yeah, I, I would say put... Because part two is... Part two is better. It's Bay 173, P1 Harmony, Ghost 9, UNVS... Drippin'. Drippin'. Bay 173. I already... Uh, Checkmate and another group. Treasure. Treasure. So I think we had way more fun. I had a lot more fun. Because we also... Uh, we also brought in all the other groups, too. It was a lot more... So I think that you got... I, I almost want to put the second one as, like, an eight. I It's one of my... It's yeah, one this of the is most a good, fun I had recording. Episode. I'll put this, like, up here. And I think the first one's, like, a B tier. A B tier, yeah. Um, I'll put it here. I think. That's probably good for it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So then we go to... This is a complete history of K and K. Which is the only other group we've done a complete history of so far. So far. We have plans for more, but, like, we have we've just been, like... plans for a lot like... more, but have not got... Those episodes involve a lot of research, so... And we've been researching other things for, like, full months. Yeah, we spent, like, um, a whole month watching 11 seasons of Produce. We spent, instead, I think, so... a solid two months doing that se- that whole... That month I spent, of content like, was two months. Mo- Two months where my life, probably three months where my life was only produce, so. Our life is still kind of mostly produce. It is. It's really sad. I'm like, I, I don't know how I feel about that, but that's Because I don't know how it stops. It doesn't stop is the really sad part Because also now it. I'm invested in a lot of, there's been like 1,800 trainees at this point. I know. And I'm like very invest, oh no, not 1,800, like 1,100 trainees. And I'm, like, invested in a lot of them. So they keep having yeah. comebacks. I keep having to... And they keep doing <sighs> seasons. China's gonna keep doing them. I think Japan's gonna keep doing it. So, like, even though it's dead in Korea, like, it's still gonna go on. Yeah. And, like, you have the people that debuted. You have the people that didn't debut. People from these shows are still debuting. God. We're gonna keep... God. It's gonna keep going. But, um, they took... It took a lot of effort those seasons and then mm-hmm. also like the the kingdom stuff is a lot to try to keep yeah. up with daily to also do this kind of research i know so there are uh, that series is on the back burner for right now but we should we will come back Probably with it at some point with the way we're scheduling things i think over the summer we might be able to do one or two i think we can get to- we really want to get top dog out because that's yeah, the one that's group the, I, we that's really want to do the next one that's coming out is top dog yeah 
Uh, this is, it's a fine episode. K&K has got, like, a very sad history as a group. I mean, if you think that's sad, dear... Top dog. Top dog. (laughs) We'll get to top dog. I somehow unique We will will get to top. Unique will be the most happy version in that this group is mostly dead, but everyone thriving. Yep. Mostly thriving. Mm Mm-hmm. So, K and K is sad. I it's sad. I do it's like that episode a, though. It is. It is a little bit boring. I think it is. I see. See. We'll put it like here. So then we get to our first of the bonus surprise bonus videos that surprise are surprise bonus videos, which is K Ho anthems, K pop Ho anthems, which is another video that we made because we kept getting. Because this was around the time that K-pop ho... It was, like, last summer. It was in the summer, yeah. Yeah, and K-pop ho anthems keeps getting recommended every every five minutes. We watch them, and a lot of them we looked at and were like... This is not a ho anthem. This is not a ho anthem. This is very depressing. Like, Vix is Shangri-La, not a ho anthem. That was on, like, every ho anthem video. And I'm like, this is not a ho anthem. <laughs> like, yep. Breakup songs. Active breakup songs. We're in Hawaii. Also, anthems. like, you can't throw every single EXID song on there because it's EXID. Like, some of those are definitely not, not Hawaii anthems. Nope. Like, nope. Not every single uh, Sistar song is a ho anthem. Just yeah. no. So, I think that overall, I. It's one of our best performing clip videos, it is. too. So. It's, it's one of our best performing videos, period. And I really like the way it turned out. I think that we. Looking back on it, we missed a couple songs, but I think that that video is already long enough. Yeah, I do like it a lot. I don't know if we put enough two p.m. on there though. We probably could. It could use some more two p.m. But we got the two on there that are like the whole the two big I ones. Think. Yeah, the two big ones. I think that's an S tier video. I think it's an S tier video. We have only clip videos in the S tier right now. Uh, we'll get more. I think mm-hmm. that there's like one or two more we can get up there. So next we have yeah. our interview with Tuck. Yes. That was fun. That was I a fun love episode. that so much. Because it was just listening stories. to Tuck's like K-pop stories and it was really fun. Yes. I love Tuck. First guest yes. we ever had on the podcast too. And so it was very, it was just a really fun time. Yes. I was about to say only guest, but no, we have, we've had another guest. Mm-hmm. So I oh, think- shoot. I don't know if I have that episode on here. Um, so... Let's, I don't think it is. Um, let's just talk about... Let's just put them together, then. Yeah. So we have this one, and then we have the K-pop R&B episode. Mm-hmm. That Maria did That with, was with Sat. Yeah, with Sat. Our two guests. Great mm-hmm. guests. Great people. Yes, yes. They're very different episodes. They're very different. Um, the Maria and Sat one was mainly, because I edited that episode, it was mainly them just talking about um, R&B, indie, hip-hop releases over the 2020 that they enjoyed a lot. So it was very much just like a like a yearly music review thing. Tuck was just here to tell us, like, crazy, crazy stories. Crazy stories from his Essentially, blood. yeah. <laughs> Which was very fun. I think both of those are really good episodes. They're very good. Cut this out. Sat won! Was that Sat winning... <laughs> Th- yeah, that sad, so sad won Fantasy League, and that so, and then um, we offered her a spot on the podcast. So essentially, we all participate in a K-pop Fantasy League, because of course we do, mm-hmm. and as a joke, we offered, hey, whoever wins, you get a, whoever wins this an season, episode. you get an episode of, you get to be a guest on one of our episodes. She mm-hmm. won, sat won, and then we are in, now we're here. And then she, Maria wanted an, a K-pop or, like, a R&B hip-hop, like, review episode. None of, none of us listened to that at all. So I was like, that's probably a good person for you to have, like, a back and forth with about that anyway, so. Yeah, because I feel like if it was any of out. us, we'd just be like, oh, yeah, uh-huh. I got, like, a no uh-huh. use, like, I, every time, like, I had no useful comments to make here. <laughs> no. So I think that those are really, both of those, I think, are, like, Both a. of those are I want to say yeah. A. Those are A-tier episodes. Like here. I'm sorry, sad that we forgot your episode. I like I I am like probably missing a couple of random episodes here and there because when I was trying to get the thumbnails together, it was like really having a bad time with it because I didn't have them all saved just on my computer. So I'd had to go like 
remake some of them because I couldn't da- like re-download them without having to like recrop them a weird way, so it was a time. Yeah. So I'm probably missing a couple other ones in there too. Yeah. Um, you want to just do Asian drama November together? Sure. Um, intro to intro to C dramas wasn't an Asian drama November, but, but we it can, was a lead we can do up all to the, it. Yeah. We can do those together. Okay. So. So. I'm upset. Uh huh. Makes sense. <laughs> You know how we say a lot of our episodes take a lot of research? Yeah. In terms of amount of... Not so much that first one. So the, the first episode is the intro to, to C-dramas, which is C-dramas versus K-dramas. And mm-hmm. I we're just talking about the differences and all of that. And it's a fun episode. I enjoy it. It's maybe not my favorite that we've done. It was a very haphazardly put together because I didn't really do that. I, I mainly focus on the other one. So yeah. I would say that that's like a C tier episode. I would say, okay. In that, a lot of that information, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is correct. I cannot source. I right. don't have the best reputable sources because they mm-hmm. don't exist, and I don't read Chinese. Yeah, or speak Chinese. So then we have the episode that actually did. I actually put a lot of effort into, <laughs> like way too much effort into that. You put like unnecessarily large amount of effort into that episode. <laughs> Kayla had to tell me you need to stop. And I was like, at I some point in time, there's only so many shows you can watch. <laughs> like you. <laughs> so essentially, I did a C drama recommendation episode where I essentially wanted to put shows into different categories. My thing was, there was a lot of very popular, very big shows that, um, are good that I haven't seen. So I attempted to watch them. And I just had to keep watching shows. I watched so many dramas last year, mainly because of that episode. So Mm -hmm. many shows. Like, my productivity for watching dramas this year, way lower. Oh, yes. Because I just are, I'm not watching shows 24-7. Yeah. Then again, I feel like when I get that second monitor, it's gonna get worse. Oh, that'll- it'll not help at all. No, it'll make- it'll make it worse. It'll be worse. But overall, I think that I put so much effort into that. (laughs) So much. I watched so many shows, I wanted to make it good. You put, like, way, way too much effort into that episode. And then it has- let me check exactly how many views it has right now. Mm Mm-hmm. It has- it won't be- it has 12 views. Yep. I'm- and the, uh- If it is of any consolation, both of those episodes are two of our best performing episodes on, like, podcasting sites, though, because they're in, like, the- oh, they're in, like, definitely in the higher range of, like, views we normally get on, like, podcasting. They're, like, in the 50, like, 40, 50 range, so- Very well. They did do well They did on, do well Just not on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little bit dis- I was very sad for a while, because I'm like, they're just doing shit. Mm-hmm. Why are they doing so bad? That put so much effort. So much but effort. But I liked it. I did have fun, though. That's good. I'd I like say that's it. like a- I don't know. Um, I'll put it B tier. Okay. Like, above the birthday episodes. So, Worst K-Dramas is one of my favorite episodes we've ever done. I love that episode, Worst Five Dramas. Because, um, we just went off on shows we hated. And I love how Dan is just there to react. You're just like, Dan, I need you to, like, just be here so we can complain to someone about this. And Dan can just sort of, like, give feedback as, like, a neutral third party. Yes. Just like, what the fuck is- what is this show? Mm Mm-hmm. And it's like, they're bad. They're terrible. And I think this is one of my favorite- this might be my favorite. Is it my favorite K drama? Yeah, probably. I think my it's favorite probably K-drama my favorite K drama episode. We are we, have, yeah. we are thinking of doing. Wait, did you not put the best K drama on here? No, it's uh, just over here. Um, oh, there it, it is. just okay, came out okay. way. It came out way earlier. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to. I didn't see the thumbnail, but yeah, no, mm-hmm. it's my favorite. That one. We're we're gonna do a um, similar offshoot. Soon. Yes. Yes, yes. Because we have a very- we just like to have Dan react to shows we've seen. Uh Uh-huh. It's very fun. 
So it's I fun. think that's like an A tier. That's A tier. I like this. Or do we? Or is that our first S tier? Because I we we go off. Let's put it in the S tier. Let's put it above these clip videos, just so we don't have those. Just I like love I love us just going flag. off about. I love you going off about. Um, missing nine is missing horrible. Nine. <laughs> I hate that show so much. Just, I did not know that that is a crime, that that's like a legal drama. It's a legal drama. And I'm like, I, this is like back to work. I don't like being lied to by K-dramas. Then again, I don't love the time, the fucking King Eternal Monarch. Oh God, that was a show. Garbage. Mm -hmm. It's that and goddamn, and me trying to talk about one of the you princes. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just like cowboy. multiple surprise sexual assaults. Multiple. <laughs> One show, multiple. Mm -hmm. All right, then we have our shining our shining days. <laughs> Another episode I love. You'll it's notice, so funny. You'll notice we like the drama episodes way more than we like the K-pop episodes because I we feel do. like we, we are we have like a set topic, mm -hmm. but it's they're fun. They're so much fun to record, and it's so funny. So this one and with. Um, a lot of the ones where we're just reviewing a show, we have don't we just don't have scripts for. It. We no. just like go, and they the episodes end up like very disorganized, but they're also very fun yes. in the same way. Because we're go we're going entirely based on memory. Yeah, which again for this is okay because we had like just watched the show, maybe like mm -hmm. a couple days before, or just watched the movie a couple days before, and I had just finished the show. Yeah, I decided that you know what, I have to watch more K dramas because of this. Because of this whole podcast. Oh yeah. Then again, I've also decided to do that this year. You have decided to do that this year. But I'm also doing that this year. So well, you're doing a lot less than I am because I've also yeah. decided that I need to like skim through because I haven't seen these shows in years. Yeah. And also just watch some things for the first time. Uh, so, to preface this, um, no one's gonna watch this. Uh, we can tell them what we're doing in November. Well, we're doing Asian Drama November again, number one. <laughs> Asian Drama November's coming back. But we have a theme. We yes, have a theme the for this theme year. The theme this year is we are going to be watching shows that have been remade. Either the in multiple countries is a remake of a show, or the, sh the K-drama has been remade in other and these are official remakes these are not yeah. like the show is essentially the same and different no these are like actual the remakes. shows are based on each other yeah so this will be very fun and there's I'm been so many no one can bear people can barely guess what it will yeah be. you can try to guess what you're the show's gonna, gonna be cover, wrong. but there's a lot there's a lot of there's them there's so, so many of them yeah uh we thought about doing suits we're not doing suits because um, i cannot stand it no I watched too much American Suits, yeah. and I could not get past the third episode of Korean Suits. Oof. Uh, but no, for our Shining Days, very weird movie. I, that movie is so, it's, it's so not what, what I was expecting when I went in to watch that movie. It's very weird. It's such a weird movie. <laughs> I had fun, and like, the show is even weirder, somehow. Oh, it's so, it's so bizarre. So I think, I mean, that's, that's up there. That's also a good, I think it's an A-tier episode. That's an A-tier episode. episode. Yeah. It's like up here. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah. So then we go to So Gank then we have the big, the Gank Your Heart. <laughs> Gank Your Heart is currently our most watched episode. By, like, by over a hundred views. It's, like, by a lot. It's our most like, viewed episode. Like, the it's only got thing zero, getting close is the It's got zero, preview. yeah, and it has no engagement. At all. No. Either. There's not one just comment has, under that video. No. But it has, like, 400 and something views. And I'm like... Why? Why? Because that episode's not good. It's all over the place because it had been months since like, me and I Sammy had, had watched the yeah, show. Yeah, because I watched the show... Because, essentially, me, Kayla, and Dan essentially started watching the show... Together. At the same time. We watched maybe, like, 10 episodes? 12 episodes? Something like that. Together. Because it's how, it's how many, like, 30 episodes? I think yes. we got halfway through together. Yes. Yeah. And then we're, like, we were it's gonna put this out long. in July. We're, like... We gave, we gave everyone a deadline. Finish Kank Your Heart by the end of July. <laughs> yep. We were, like, do it by the end of July. I finished it in maybe, like, a week. You mm -hmm. finished it in maybe, like, I finished two it, like, a week. Weeks. A week later, I finished yeah. it, yeah. And then Dan did not finish it till, like, October. 
Dan only finished it because Dan got hit by a car. Or a yeah, truck, Dan got hit by a and truck then and suddenly stuck had a, a lot of time to watch dramas. Suddenly, Dan had like a lot of free time. Mm-hmm. So that is the only reason he finished it. I think in September. I think. Yeah, maybe. September, October. It was September, October. There. Yeah. And then I'm entirely basing this on my memory. And mind you, I had in that time watched maybe like. 30 more shows. Yes. And also had watched, by that point, I think I had watched I think you had watched The King's Avatar, which is just that show, but better. So, like, I'm conflating, like, did this happen in The King's Avatar? Like, they're diff- they're entirely different shows, but when you're talking so in-depth about a gaming drama, sometimes my brain will wander off and, like, well, in The King's Avatar, da 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 and I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. So we went off on tangents. Dan also didn't help because he also was apparently confused. And I'm like, Dan was the- very confused the whole time. But I think it's it is a great episode. We did have a lot of fun, mainly because of it's Wangy very Bo. fun, Mikey Bo, and it was just it's also like kind of stupid the show as a whole. So the show is great. I yeah, in the way of like a stupid show that I really love. Mm-hmm. So I think the I think that's like A or S. Do we have to? A, I think it's prob- A tier. I want to put it at like top of A tier. Yeah, it's one because of our. It is our most viewed episode. Yes. So. so then we have our best K-pop original K- songs from survival shows. I don't remember how yes. we titled that, but it's, it's essentially just, it's that. just best K-pop survival show songs. This is our most viewed video right now. Yes, I think it should be because all those songs are great. Yes, and. Honestly, that's an S tier video right there. We it we is an S tier video. We went it's to great video. every show. It's I there All are the songs shows. on there that like a lot of people just don't even know of that I like pulled no. out of my head and I was like, here's a song like <laughs> yeah, because I just remember you've like, never random, heard like because I had never watched Boys Twenty Four, but I'm like, well, there's a bunch of Boys Twenty Four. There's a bunch of really good, good songs from Boys Twenty Four. Yeah. Here's this random song from, like, the Infinite Challenge, like, where they did, like, history, ha- like, Hamilton-style raps that I really like. Well, let's put that on the list. Like, yeah. <laughs> let's go back to just random things. I added some island songs that Kayla was Here's never High School in. Rapper 2. High School <laughs> like, Rapper 2. Here's various ones from Show Me the Money 3. Yeah. It's great. Mm-hmm. We, just, we covered really like all bases with that, with that, um. Kayla, we brought out, like, Operation Idol... Idol, Idol, Idol drama operation something team. really stupid. Yeah, Idol <laughs> drama operation <laughs> team or something. We found yeah. that like uh-huh. fu- Big Byung, Big Byung made a made an appearance. Yeah, like we we got everybody. We really did. The, well, this is why we're like the old ladies of K-pop. We remember fucking Big Byung. Oh, I love Big Byung. <laughs> They're great. I love it. Any any opportunity to mention Big Byung, we take. We have to take it because that's a an S tier K-pop group. Big Byung. <laughs> yes. Um, then we have our album collecting video, which I didn't remember we made. I, re- I remember we made it. Um. Our collection has changed a lot since then. I, I do want to make an update to that, because my collection is so much, is expanded significantly since then. Yeah. And, like, not even just, like, the bits of it, but also we stopped selling because eBay sucks. Because eBay sucks, yep. So now we just have more things. But I think both of us have like doubled our signed album collection oh, since yeah. then. Oh, essentially, yeah. we have a lot more. We got real into we got real into buying signed albums. We got the eBay signed albums. We have a bunch more. Just oh, we now collect J-pop as well. We collect J-pop. We now have advice on collecting J-pop albums. Yes. So I do want to update that because I, I did enjoy that episode. I thought it was fun. Yeah, I kind of think that's like a B tier episode. Yeah. Mm. I don't really put I'll put it like here. Yeah, above Dan's birthday mm-hmm. episode. Yeah, um, above the birthday episodes. So if we're basing this on the quality of the product, this is F tier. F tier. <laughs> because Shine by Jessica is terrible. Terrible. The folder for this episode was just called Jessica's Terrible Book. Because <laughs> that's just what it is. Look, I'm very happy. I, I was at a... This was the middle of the pandemic, so I had to go get groceries at one point and to, like, leave my home. And I went into it. I went into a Target to, like, get essentials and walked by their book section. Jessica's book was there. And I'm like, do I? Do I? The answer is no. You don't. The answer is no, you don't. You don't give her money. Because it was, like, buy one, get one fifty. It was, like, 
you know, the Target sales. Buy two, get one free or something like that. And I'm like, do I? Oh, no. I remember what it was. It was when I went to go buy the NCT album. Remember when we went to oh, buy those? Oh, when- yeah. When I just, it was the buy two, get one free. And I was like, well, now I gotta buy three albums. So. Yeah, well, now you get both versions of the NCT album and another album. And a BTS album, because I'm here. Which is like- what I did. Which is what I also did. But I'm like, do I just get Jessica's book and have it so we do the episode on it as the free no. thing? And I'm like, nope. It's not no. even worth being free. It's terrible. No. Horrible. It's a horrible book. But we had a lot of fun, and we did fan I did have a lot it. of fun. We did. We did fan cast it. So. I think it's fun because of how stupid it is. It's, yes. like, very bad, but it was very fun to talk about how bad it was. But I, yes. But also, it was torture on me, so I think we gotta put it in C tier, because I'm not yeah, reading the sequel. Yeah, because it was a bad time. <laughs> I don't know if she's getting a sequel, but if, it, if she does, I'm not reading it. I think it's setting up a sequel, probably. It is setting up a sequel. Doesn't mean she'll get one, hopefully. True. True, true. So now we have our end of the year episodes. End of the year episodes. So we have the... I think the top ten is fine. There's only so many ways you can say something is good. It's fine. It's kind of boring. I think that's a C-tier episode. Just so we can get to my favorite... One of my favorite episodes we've ever made. Yes, and it, this is all. It also performed better than um, the best ta- ten songs of the year as well. So our so. worst ten songs, mm-hmm. mind you, which has again we are apparently quote unquote shitting on multiple groups in that. Apparently, yes. less controversial than the ranking kingdom calling something the worst song of the year. Less controversial. Than us saying that someone is, you know, five out of six. Because this video, groups. this video did better than the best ten songs of the year. Also has like no dislikes on it. Nope. And it, like, no so I, it doesn't make sense that this one performed better. But it's also like not as hated as just ranking the kingdom groups. So I guess you know the people are like. Yeah, no, these so I I tend to think that now it just means that we were correct and it was bad. We were correct and people agreed that those were bad songs. So, um, yes. I like it. I, this is a great episode. Yes. I think that's like an A or S tier episode. This is like an A tier probably, yeah. Like right here next to Gank Your Heart. Right yep. So then we have our award show. Mm-hmm. Which took us multiple days to do. It was very annoying to edit that episode. It took two days and, like, various iterations of people. Mm -hmm. Because we can't get all five of us together anymore because that's impossible. We have a lot to do. This will be how we have to do things that where the five of us are together. It's either plan the months in advance. Mm Mm-hmm. Or we just aren't all together. Or just we aren't all together and we're just- Separate parts. We're patchwork together. Different exactly. generations are together in different times. Kayla and I mm-hmm. are the constant. Oh yes, because we have too much time to just record podcast episodes. So here this we is are. how I bring. This is like my. Uh, some people like do yoga. Some people do like knitting. I mm-hmm. record podcasts. We and record make bonus podcasts. Videos. It's the creative yes. outlet I've decided on. Exactly. <laughs> So it's a long, it's a long episode. It's a very long we episode. In, we put in a lot of effort into that because along with that, it was the three nominations video that also were very annoying to edit. Um, yes, and the, we have a lot. There's just so so much effort went into that, and it like it performed well. So like it, it was it, like, worth perform- it. It was worth it, but also like I don't love it. I guess either. I don't love. I think it's like a solid B tier. It's a solid, it's just, like, a pretty solid, but there's nothing about it that I am, like, super, no. like, I honestly, happy about. I honestly was, because, va- again, we had to make a lot of cons- considerations and, like, who do yeah. we give the award. It was such a long process to, like, figure out who we were nominating. I know, that was so, there was so oh, much God, effort into no. it. no. Can you imagine nominating this year? We already started, and we're just, like, we have, like, nothing to put on this right now. <laughs> K-pop, be better. Be be- K-pop's got to be better this year. It's not. I'm not having a great time with K-pop this year. So moving on to the COVID episode. Um, why did you put this on here? Oh uh, well, it's it's here. <laughs> I'll let you take it's this because it was my life. Well, it was you and Maria only. Yes. Us just and talking about our lives during this 
shit show of a pandemic. Yep, yep. I did um, show it to my dad. And my dad enjoyed it as well. Because it was one of the only, like, non-K-pop things. Like, hey, here's a podcast episode if you want to listen to COVID talk or whatever. Here's a, here's a, oh, dad, I'm part of a podcast. Here's an episode. Oh, you I'm did not great. on it. And, like, I'm not here. I'm not here, but, like, here you go. <laughs> it was entertaining listening to Maria trying to not dox her workplace. <laughs> she did. Constantly. She did. I edited, I had, to, it yeah, was skillful it was, editing. <laughs> yeah. There was, like, multiple stretches of a tangent I had to cut out because she docked her workplace at the end, and I'm like, there's no way I can edit around and that. And I was like, you can't. You're like, you can't. So, like, let me just edit this. out the whole thing. Yeah. So, I, I enjoyed I it. It was, I yeah. mean, as much as you can enjoy talking about You just had, like, a, this. you and Maria had, like, a therapy session. Yeah, mini therapy session. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know, know what to do with this. it, though. I don't, I don't know, know either. Because it. it's so, it's just, like, it's I hard. mean, we go to, like, off-topic, like, episodes, but this one is, like, really just, like, not re not related to anything. No. Even though this was around the time that some K-pop idols were getting COVID. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. It's your episode because I'm not even in it, so I you don't can know. Put it anywhere. Where do you want? Where do you think it should go? I it's don't so know. Hard. I like wasn't part of it at all, so I don't know. I it's, yeah, I was too part too much. It's too <laughs> deep for me. Too we'll much. just put it like somewhere. We'll just like put it over here in the middle. <laughs> Great. Like randomly in there. It is. Great. So now we tier rank to 150 boy groups, and I think this is one of my favorite episodes. I love that I love so, it much. so much. I think it's so fun. It was so fun. Uh, I love also that we just got, that's like how we slipped all of like our produce boy groups and like Orbit and whatever on there. Orbit, next. And I was like, we were quite J ones V and S tier, like... <laughs> we did we uh, that is our that is our demand we require j01 b s here yes and we did it it's one of my favorite things we've done i've enjoyed it so me much getting lucas to tell me please put one we in s tier i know he was like i am actually gonna beg you to put one we in s tier don't put like nine don't put nine percent <laughs> don't put this random c-pop group that has three songs that's dead and has three songs yeah in s tier Put one we mm -hmm. up here, please. Yep. Uh, you dragging us somehow getting Icon oh, yeah. in F tier, which is wrong Yeah, now. it's Lucas dragging Icon to, like, wrong. D tier. Yeah. And then you drag, like, NC2127 to D tier. Okay. You drag and then B1A4. 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 And it was like, that's a weird group to just drag to the F tier, but I'm like, I have, like, no one else to, I have, like, yeah, strong you have opinions a, on. you have weirdly strong opinions a dislike I don't like of them. B1A4. Yeah, I don't like B1A4. But, do we put, is this like a, it's definitely an S or an A tier episode. I think that this is an S tier episode, only because I think we put so yeah. much effort into getting 150 groups. Oh yeah. And forgetting Monster forgot, X. We forgot Monster X in those 150 groups. Look, you'll notice again, we forgot Sats one from here. We forgot, like, we always forget, like, one crucial thing. I will say, I did find out the reason Monster X got left out, because I was looking at, because I put together the tier anchor, I was looking through my, like, folder of, like, thumbnails, and I just found a random folder with a Monster X logo, and I was like, is this where I saved it to instead of the, like, tier ranking folder, and that's why it's just not in the tier ranking we video? Get, we should have seen, again, it's too hard because we would have to do the math of, is this 150? Yeah. Because I think that we might have accidentally, because I did remember us looking at this and we're like, we did the math and we're like, this is only like 149. Yeah. Or something. I did remember Because us when I uploaded, when I uploaded it, there were 150 pictures there and that's what I was going off of. I was like, I guess it's fine, but like, something happened in the middle where we have lost we got somebody. Confused. So we lost a group. So. We, we lost a group. We lost Mons X and replaced them apparently with somebody else at some point. With somebody else. I don't less know important. what happened. Yeah. But I love that. Us realizing that. Just. Starship, and we don't, we just call them other Starship boy group for a while too, and it's just like, oh, well. And it wasn't boyfriend, because we were, 
it's not because we were talking about because we were talking about boyfriend. Yeah, it's not gravity, so it had to yeah. be the other one. Mm-hmm. All right, so then we have all of Produce Month combined. Seven episodes so- of Produce. <laughs> yep. This is the most effort we've put into anything we've done on this podcast. Like, so much effort went into that. And it was, like, a, I had a very fun time, but also, like, a horrible time at the same time. Uh, again, as we've said, two, like, two full months. Our life was only produce. Only produce. All produce all the time. And a lot of it was very enjoyable, I will say. Also... There's ten produce videos if you count the bonus videos. That's... There's so many produce videos, and spoiler alert, again, we are gonna do another produce month at October the end of the year. is produce month part <laughs> two, where we gotta do the update for the three seasons that aired. Yes. Um, so, produce content will be back fairly we soon. Will be, we will have technically have done, like, 14 produce ep- 14, maybe 15, depending on if we do a bonus episode. Oh, yeah, I think we might have to do a bonus episode. So, I think we'll do 15 produce episodes this year great what have we because we've, we've what are we doing we now just have to keep this going because we are the we the, do we're the we we've watched all of it all so of like it it's like watched. it's i can't just stop now when i've watched like um like we're i'm gonna watch 14 seasons of it so might as well keep going see yep. where this leads yep yep i think produce month is the most effort we've ever put into anything it is, by far. Maybe more effort than I put into those C-drama videos. Probably more effort than I put in the C-drama videos. Mm-hmm. Then again, for those C-drama videos, I did watch a, sh- a Tao show entirely Google translated. Oh, I do remember that. That was a bad time. <laughs> it was weird. It was the that weirdest sounds like a horrible time I ever had. Yeah. But I do think Produce Month is like S-tier quality content right It there. is. I think this is our S-tier We had a quality. thesis statement. <laughs> We, it's, we had so, there's so much produce content. Our, and it was like, if we're gonna watch 11 seasons of the show, we're gonna get as much content out of it as we can. for as much as we can, because we yeah. were originally only gonna do one episode. One episode. And then and it we're just like, getting, no. And then it started getting a bit too much. We wanted to talk about the trainees. We wanted to talk about the themes. We want to talk about the racism and the sexism. The, yes. We want to talk about the future of the... Th- like, we had too many topics. We that had were like, so much stuff to talk about. This five-hour video if we do it this way. So now it's a whole month, and yeah. it was like, we're going to get the content out of it, so... We got as much content as we could. So yes. for our... This is our top... Each of our top five K-dramas. One, I love that Dan has seen five K... I'd seen, like, eight K-dramas. He's seen, like, seven K. K-dramas, yeah, at the time. And so we had to pick five of them. Mm-hmm. And it's like he didn't even like some of them, but he's only seen like seven. seven so, so like, like one of them had to be was there by had. default, right? Competition's not super high. No, this... I have seen a lot more K dramas since then, so my list is probably different now. But it was fun. It was our that was our first Asian drama content, I think. Ye... Was that extracurricular before that? No, it was after. Oh, then by yeah, it was this. Yeah. yeah, this was our first drama content i had seen a lot of k dramas before this and many more too after. many so many look they're easy to they're easy to play in the background mm-hmm. at all times but yeah um yeah my list would probably be a little bit different now yeah. especially with the fact of like i had to try to find different things just to keep it we had 15 different shows it's very good i like that right. episode a lot I do. It's a good episode. It's a good episode. One of our, it's one of the better episodes of, like, our really early episodes. Yeah. I think we just needed, again, I think what we've learned is that we don't need a script. We just need topics. And we'll yeah. go off. And we'll just go. Yeah. So I think that that's, like, a solid B. I don't like it as much as it's I like our B. worst. Yeah. K-drama episodes, because that's amazing. That one is very good. I think that we're just very good at, like, ranting about things we don't like in a concise way of, this is bad, this is why it's bad. Mm Mm-hmm. So then it's K-pop Mastermind. Yes. I'll let you take this, because you actually had to play it, so. It was very fun, and it's kind of what started us down this, like, now we play, like, fun game shows on the podcast, which I really enjoy a lot. Yeah. Because we have that. It was very fun. We're gonna have. It was very fun. 
we're a, another we're, game coming up yes. for Lucas's birthday. We, there's two that are on the way right now, mm-hmm. so I don't know if they're out by the time this is out. Probably not, um, but they're coming, so. Yes, they're on the way. They're going to be very fun, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to come up with more K-pop mastermind. The, the topics are hard. Yeah. Coming, like, writing, I think, the game part is, like, it's a, it takes effort, but it is fun, yes. I think. Because I also wrote a game, and that was a lot of effort trying to write, but it was very fun writing yes. it as well, so. The, the, the writing is very fun, and I think that the game aspect is, you guys seem to have a lot of fun, even with the... It was very fun, and it's almost, like, more fun when we're just, like epically failing at it because the k-pop knowledge is like really screwing up the like logic puzzle aspect and it <laughs> yes and it's just a disaster yep so i i really i think our games are some of our better episodes so i think i want to put that in like a a tier a tier yeah um i'll put it like right above shining days <laughs> mm-hmm. like here yeah so then we have our, like, mini review that just came mini out. Mini Asian drama review, yeah. I had no idea what to title that episode. I'm like, it's like, we're talking about K, like, just our K-dramas we've seen. I was like, what do I, like, what do I call this? Like, what is this what we're doing right now? True. What I do love is, um, just your disclaimer at the beginning of, look, we're terrible at spoilers. Yeah, like, don't the spoilers are just out the whole episode. <laughs> Very, so if you don't want those, just leave. <laughs> yeah, because this is very much us just recording conversations we have. Just every just day, Generally, yes. Yeah. Because we do like to, to, to just talk watch about, dramas. Watch dramas and talk about dramas and talk about dramas that the other person won't watch and tell them yeah. everything. Just, like, why it's a disaster. Like, this is terrible, this is what happens. Or even shows mm-hmm. that we like. Yeah. That the other person probably won't watch. Mm-hmm. So I do like that. It is a little bit all over the place. It is. It's, like, uh, also not a lot of- also in one that had, like, no planning that went into it, really, nope. so. We just kind of were, like, can we do we an just episode went. this way? Sure. Yeah. Let's just go. Mm-hmm. I'd say that's, like, C. That's, like, ice cream tier. Yeah. Uh, let's put it, like, over here or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, the genius. Also, I want an update on the Gank Your Heart episode. The Gank Your Heart episode is at 520 views, not 400. Oh my god. It's above. <laughs> it, I, I just looked up because I'm like, I feel like it's, it should be higher by now. Yep, it's at 500. Oh my god. It just like constantly gets more views. And I'm like, where are these people coming from that are just listening to this random podcast episode about Gank Your Heart? It's like, consistently getting views. It's very bizarre. Yep. Moving on to our genius retrospective, the first and only time we've done a... A variety show. Yeah. And we said we were going to do more and then have not at all. Look, that would require me watching variety shows, and I'm already watching too many dramas. Oh, yeah. And also, I'm already watching so many dramas and also Mnet reality shows. Yeah. I don't have all of the time. Too, Too many Mnet reality shows. And also the Mnet now adjacent reality shows with all of the the produce the oh, yeah. other country produces. Yep, yep. That's a long episode too, the genius. It's like two and a half hours, I think. It is long. And it's all that's also weirdly one of our like highest viewed episodes in a weird way. I mean people love um, the genius. The genius is great. I love the genius. I would love to do the other seasons of the genius at some point in time when we're not dying with kingdom and produce and everything else look i think the problem is after kingdom and produce i want a little bit of a break the problem yeah. is in that break they announce the next season and then i'm like well now i don't want to watch anything until i gotta do that i know so i i think we need to wait for these shows to die they gotta die or we get so tired that we don't want to do them anymore it's gotta, it's gotta reach that point eventually. I like and soon is what I would think, because it's only so much we can do with that format. But you know, all right. Um, I think that that's a good episode. I think that's like a B episode. It's yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's one of our first. It is our first recap. Yeah. So that's fun. 
Mm-hmm. I'll let you take this one, because I wasn't on this yeah, episode. Yeah, so this... Yeah, so this is, like, probably one of the most off-topic episodes we've done, where Maria, like, messaged me on, like, a random Tuesday, and I was like, I just finished rewatching Avatar, can we just, like, make an episode? And I was like, sure, let's just go right now. And so we did. And it's essentially us just talking, recapping the entire season, and we tier-ranked the episodes, and then talked about just generally how much we love that as a series. It's very fun. We did. So we talk about it again in our Western Media yep. episode for um, a while. Honest, honestly, when Maria gets around to finishing Cora, we're probably gonna do an, another episode on Cora just because might as well. But it's fun. I enjoy it a lot. It's a good episode. I. It's very it. random. It's very random. It doesn't really fit into the podcast at all. <laughs> no, not not that much. No, like really not at all. But like you know. It's fine. It's fine. It's a good, it's a good episode. I enjoyed it. You guys did have, I just love going through, like, because we have all our thumbnails in one long slideshow. Yeah. And, then and the see, ranking is there, too. It is. Our tier ranking things are also just in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll put it over here with the COVID episode, just because they're, like, very, the very off-topic ones. Maria's off-topic episodes. Yes. Oh, me versus my podcast. I love me versus my podcast. It was so much effort for you the first time. It's, oh my god. I mean, the second one wasn't really any better editing-wise. No. The first one was a lot because I didn't know how to put text on Da Vinci in, like, a like a way that made sense to me. So I made, like, over 200 different overlays with the text on it and then saved them individually and then just made the video with that and that took me, like, too long. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the second version of it is just longer. <laughs> I, I can use the text in DaVinci now, but it just takes, like... Long time. So long, because it's, like, a f- over 40-minute video, <laughs> so... We need to do that in parts. I think... It is really fun. Yeah. It, it's I enjoy a good, watching it's it a, a lot, because it's a fun video. It's a very fun video. I think I have figured out a way for us to do it better next year. I think we need to just split the top five boy and girl groups from the rest of it. I, that's what I'm saying. I think we either do that, that as a separate alone video or we, it's like 18 minutes. Yeah, or we itself. replace it with just the top 15 groups that I'm making. Just yeah. do that as an every year thing. Right. But this is neither here nor there. I think that's an a a a It's a good video. Yeah. It's a very good video. I enjoy it. It's not one of our best performing videos but it is still um i mean i very i like it a lot and i don't think i don't know if it's like in that s class video because those are icons those are our like best video our best videos that's our best content yeah then we have our first k drama review extracurricular the teenage such a good show very good show such a good show this is fine. I think it's a little bit boring. I think it's fine. It's kind of boring. It's like, I'm not, again, another one of the ones where we just went in without a script and we're just, we're just going to talk about it for an hour and see where we end up, and that's how it is. Yep. It's not as good, I think, as any of our other K-drama content, I don't think, because it was just like a random show review so i don't think it's as interesting or as fun as some of the other ones no not particularly and in a weird way because the show was a good show it's like was less fun because we didn't have anything to like make fun of about it and that's i think where the episodes are more fun so yeah i think that yeah just generally we liked it too much yeah uh it's all about like b or c somewhere yeah, I think you gotta put it, like, C. Yeah. Drama review. Let's put it, like, right here. After this one. And then, lastly, our... The icon. The icon, all-star K-pop groups. All-star K-pop groups. This is so fun. <laughs> the episode was so much fun. And it's just, it is, that I think everyone's group is really fun, but you do just get the icon that is Super Jazz that oh, came yes. out of that episode. Super Jazz is maybe the best thing that ever, it's super our jazz is like, and K-pop moment. That's the icon of this podcast is Super Jazz. So. I love Super Jazz. 
it's the that clip is just so funny i laugh all the time every time i watch it it's just so funny yep i think that that and just us just having a time just making fun of all of these all these groups are so dumb they're so dumb but they're it's so like, fun yeah we need to make that part two we have it half I've, finished so me and sammy have groups for part two so i just need somebody else to also make a group for a second iteration of it we need so. super jazz too super jazz and i think we know what super jazz 2 is yes mm-hmm. i think it just needs to be made my fake group is also me making that fake group is what sent us down the rabbit hole of our shining days too so if you if you didn't already know that that is how long we've been working on part two that caused our shining days last year last summer yeah that was like so long ago yep that's how long we have been preparing for all-star k-pop groups part two yep but honestly it's gonna be a great episode honestly it will be a great episode. Um, it's probably an A tier episode. Yeah, I'd I say. think it's an A tier episode. I wouldn't I say I would. Would, S, yeah, but... I wouldn't put it in S because I think Super Jazz is like Super Jazz Super itself Jazz. is a, is an S tier moment. But right, I think that whole episode as a whole, yes, yes. So mm-hmm. that is the ranking. That is our tier ranking of our own up podcast episodes. This is the stupidest idea. Again, there's only it's one F tier episode. There is only, and it's our first episode, so, like... And then the D-tier episode is the one only made out of spite. <laughs> out of this completely spite-written episode. Ah. Uh. It was also just, like, a fun trip down memory lane of the last year, just, like, going through yeah. what we have done over the course of the life of this podcast, so... Our first year, and mm-hmm. I think we've only gotten better as it's gone on. We've definitely gotten better, Yes. We actually know what we're doing. You're much better at just, like, podcasting as a general concept now. Mm -hmm. And multiple people can edit now and, like, everything. The work is spread around a little bit better. Yeah. So we are definitely just growing still as a podcast, um, but it's been a fun year. Yes. I've had a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun, and I think that just continuing it I know this kind of sounds like we're saying goodbye, but we're not. Like, this is going to no, keep going we, for a while. No, because we literally have episodes planned through the end of December. Yeah, as like, we're we know. Right now. Like, we, we've got it figured out. Like, we have the schedule. We've also gotten way better at scheduling, because I will tell you, a lot of these episodes were made the day before they needed we're to We're just go like, up. fuck, we need an episode. What do we do now? Yeah. But we are, we have it figured out now, so. For the most part. It's worse, yeah, it's still a little bit of a disaster, but I mean, it's yeah, fine. We'll figure it out. But honestly, mm-hmm. this has been very fun. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, if you are listening to us on YouTube, we are available on all other major podcasting platforms, and if you're listening to us on one of those places, we are also on YouTube, where we post all of our episodes along with a, um extra fun bonus videos this one in particular would probably be nice to be having a video version of as we're doing the tier ranking but i guess you don't really need it um to enjoy the episode still and we are also on instagram and twitter if you want to follow us in either of those places if uh, those are linked in the description of every episode so yes we will continue with more fun um podcast anniversary celebration episodes yes. in the future. Yes, and also more Kingdom recaps. Kingdom we will also just happen while we're doing those as well. So podcast anniversary one's gonna go a little bit over a month, but the Kingdom episodes also have to come out. So, yep. so they'll be <laughs> That's fun. That's where we're at. Yep. Alright. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye.